Good morning, good morning, my people. Welcome to Most Beast TV. Ngasho kia ngatho nyinge muno, 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 muno. Leo mudha nya wawo mothi, nguenda wakura tukimuri karuga no, ruwa mudha nya waira. Korea Mr. President, ya likiri ukura kisa mania na Gen Z, Korea muena wa X Space. We? Wa Kenya? Dio na wambianga Gen Z nyini watu wangu kabisa. Hii? Na kuira morori liye siyori ya muri ulisa maswari mbaka ni kashanga kwa awa ni wa Kenya. By the way, muri ulisa maswari msuri sana. Mr. President, by the way, eh, aliva kuriso yo maswari. Very tough. Hii, these guys are very tough. Ah, apa. Ah, guys, you are very, very sharp. Asanteni sana, by the way. Asanteni. Hakuna kubebeleza mtu. Mukigia paru kwa, hata mimi by the way, nikuwa kwa ex, but kama ningepewa ruhusa. Ningekuwa ta hapo nimempasa vibaya sana because mimi nilikuwa nataka kumuuliza swali wakati wa pita mira kwa bibi alipea alipea Mr. Njagua 300,000 na akasema hizi 300,000 perekea bibi ya pita mira kwa bibi karo ka true na hizi pesa sio za hospitali hizi pesa ni za kutumika kwa matumizi ya nyumba and it was very right alipea na pesa na tuka appreciate na familia kina karo ka true na pita mira kwa bibi waka appreciate but kuna havao yenye alifanya pale akasema ti oh nitalipa hospital bill eh hakuna kitu hakuna kitu muda chanjiwa huko hospitali no hakuna kitu hata ali support alafu mkuja kutuambia how can we trust him na ni mtu mmoja alishindwa kulipa hospital bill alafu niambie 361 uh, families when they are affected because of protesting na na, na familia wanalia huku Arafu niambie ati atawali ata, ata pia hospital bill na atasimamia matanga. Uongo mtupu. Hey, you guys. By the way, muri muri very tough. Mukasema mtu kama Oscarudi these guys na akina Moses Kuria, they are just they are just rude. They are very rude people. Mr. Akina Akina Kemani Chungwa, na nilisikia kama anamtetea. Au ni watu very useless. Watu wenye wao na Matthew na Gerard tunwe ithege mara gi ole makwenda na kuti kundu mangetwa ruo. Ne? Eh? Ha. Kuna njamani nisikia kiulisa Oscar Sundi eh, anaonekana na 20 million na kuna action anatekiwa na hizo pesa ni za Kenya. Kuna mwingine nisikia kiulisa uh, wanaenda na magari mingi sana unashindwa ni za nini? Wanaunua magari kama 20, gari kama 5 unashangani za nini? But they wa Kenya you my people, my people, my guys, my genesis. Ah. Eh. Hey. Mvile tu siwe si wapata. Sasa wanunulia kila mtu chai. Mm, ni wanunulia mpaka nyama choma. But then you guys you did a very fantastic job. Amulifanya kasi mzuri sana. Wu president anavaa kukaliwa. Nataka kuwekea hiyo video, msikie. Vile we have we have nani nani ni genesis. Just imagine. Yaani mbona na akili nyao kila president mwenyewe. Alafu mimi ile kitu pia ningeona ni mzuri sana. Au ma, ma MPs wote watorewe. Hakuna kitu wanazaindia. Tukianzia na Moses Kuria, akina Kemani Ishongwa, akina wote watorewa wakwenda kabisa. Sasa hao watu wanadanganya Mr. President wanamwambia hivi na hivi na hivi. And then they betrayed us. By the agencies kama kuna watu wenye nilisikia mulifanya kazi. Ah, nakwambia Mr. President jana. Eh tabidi ume impeach wengine utoe kabisa na kama if you are not going to do that me i think we genesis we have we have to, to demonstrate baka yesu arudi because this government wametuzoea by the way in fact mr president ni muongo in fact ni muongo kama kuna mtu mwingine ni muongo ni huyu na kama unaweza kutaka kutafuta a best actor in a movie Mwenye mtu mwenye anaweza kuaktia movie smart na itokee poa tafuta Mr President. Mr President ya tahakt party yake vizuri sana. Mm, ukitaka movie yako ikuwe mzuri juu sasa this is like just a movie. Ni kama video ni kama drama. Mr President please 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 listen to Genesis na we make sure ume review review ulisema jana because it is about to go down. Guys it is about to go down. I want you to listen to these guys bila wali wali hey, hey my people Woo. i love kenyans i love kenyans wako na akili tupu nyinyi ni akili tupu hey, hey. ukiona wa kenya wakitembea na uona ni watoto wandogo usiwadharau wako na akili hata kuliko watu wasizima wenye wako na magari pesa na pesa mingi nao hawana anything kwa kichwa they just kichwa maji they just useless so guys i want you to listen to these guys bila walikalia mr president pale hata hakuwa napumua 
Lakini walikuwa na wana wanamwambia I want to address you like Papa Sarin. Siku hapa kuna mali na kutambua kama president. Hey, wa Kenya. Hey, please just listen to this video. Yes, yes, we can hear you now. So, uh, mine is not, guys have said all the things that guys would have to say. Uh, mine is, uh, Mr. President, probably, I think I should address you as Baba Sharin. Probably you will get where I'm coming from. And, and can I have your name if you don't mind? Do you, do you mind saying your name? But you, if you don't want, it's okay. My name is Mila. Mila, okay, Mila. So, uh, on the day, on the eve of the guys who are protesting to the parliament, I'm a photographer and that's what I do. And the guy who was shot, he was shot right in front of me. And it's something that has been living with me in my head since that day. And it really pisses me off. Like, I'm really pissed off. Like, the, the day you, you addressed the nation on that Tuesday, no one was remorseful. Like, like, there was no, like, it's like, I don't know. It's just like, life, life doesn't matter to you guys in the government. Okay, I'll give you that. Later, you came and apologized. But still, people in your government walk to TV stations. It's like life don't matter. And that thing, it, it has been disturbing me. Because I saw the boy being killed. Even if you go back, you can go check Larry Maduro videos. He traced how the boy was. He was carrying nothing. Like, literally, he was carrying nothing. I know you've spoken about this over and over. But my question is, and it's not even a question. Mine is probably just go back and reflect. You are a father. You are a granddad. How would someone feel when the child is dead? I bet from where I, from where I stand, none of your government officials have even visited the families or reached out to the families from where I stand. Probably you guys just go back and reflect. Do we really matter as people who elected you? Like, how? where do we stand? Where do we stand as... As, as young youth, like the guy called Rex, he was a, he was a guy, basically, he was a guy who was born in 2002. Now he's dead. How does the mother feel? And some of, of your officials walk in TV stations, go on social media, and they're like, and that someone, someone was fucking, someone died. Mbona uona nyamaza, alafu unapenda uongo sana. Uona tu vitu inafanyika when it gets out of hand. Alafu nunaza kuongea. Saizi, tuna, kuna watu wanazika watoto wao saizi vila tunaongea. Saizi hata kuna rafiki yangu saizi, anazikwa saizi. Ni matanga, hii wiki nukua ni matanga sababu ya manda mano. But we are here thinking about the economy. We are not even sympathetic to the families. Uja mention hata jina mtu mmoja. Kuna swali peni leno mejibu, sema about rongai. You asked us, kila mtu kwa space, wanatoka from different regions in Nairobi, in Kenya, yeah. Rongai, people are killed. Gidurai, people are killed. However, the information you receive, unadhani, they, they tell you only one person was killed. Okay, that's a life too. They, they do not feed you, they do not feed, feed you the actual, uh, the actual information. So, you are just weighing the deaths of people, the number of people. People are not killed, was not aware, people are not abducted. You are just arrested. Some of us were arrested. And your excuse is that the police unit is an independent body. Surely, Mr. President. What about when Uliwa Alafu Nasema police unit is independent? Alafu Katar and Uliwa, your excuse is Nasema the economy is growing. How can this right now the country is mourning? Properties worth of billions were banned. You have not addressed that. All you think about is the the foreign, the foreign policy, and yet the economic status of the country, not about the, the livelihood there, of the common manaichi. Surely, Mr. President, we need you to be with you. Be empathetic. Your government should be empathetic. You should stop this issue of police brutality. That's, that's what we want right now. Personally, the police came to my house at 3 a.m. They broke into my house. They, they refused to identify themselves, and that was it. We were abducted. It was like kidnapping. Mr. President, they even stole some stuff from our house. Imagine Askari Anakuja, Akona Bunduki Anangia Kwa Nyumba, Akona Mask. Twelve of them, 
with 12 cars arresting a single guy, an armed citizen. Alafu ukimwambia mbona anakuja kushika anakupiga. In, in the meantime bado anachukua vitu kwa nyumba yako. Unapelekwa police fulani hata ujini not even a police station. When my friends were reporting the issue to the police station, they were not even aware. For my case, they even went to Parkland police station. That's where I was arrested. The OCPD told the guys, we know about this thing, but will not make any, will not take any action. Meaning it was very criminal. The OCPD, Parkland police station OCPD, deputy OCPD was very much aware what was going on. We are not, we are not booked in a, any single police station. We were taken in a certain house. I think it was a safe house or something. I was blindfolded. Some guys were blindfolded for like 12 hours. Surely, Mr. President, are we in a terrorist country? We just want you to answer that. Okay. This, this way we're in this space. Thank you very much, my friend. I, I regret your situation. If, if that is the kind of treatment you have gone through, I apologize. And I will take action in this manner. No Kenya. And I made a commitment uh, to the people of Kenya that there will be no extrajudicial killing. There will be no River Yala. There will be no, you know, we used to have 20, 30 bodies in River Yala in the Bayala. When I came into office, I said nothing of that is ever going to happen. And I want to promise the people of Kenya that that will, that will not happen under my watch. However, I have had the kind of horror you have gone through. That is not right. What I will do after this uh, engagement, I would like, I don't know, in a very uh, 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 um, uh, secretive way, if you can send me the details of what happened, I will be able to take action because you don't you don't deserve the kind of uh, treatment that you went through. I come from Kimili constituency in Bungoma County. So, Mr. President, before you go, I want you I want to let you know that in your cabinet, currently we are having so many incompetent cabinet secretaries. For instance, let me give you an example of your friend, Kipchumba Murkomen. Kipchumba Murkomen did law. He has never been in any law firm in this country. He has never won any case. But currently, he's heading the Ministry for Road and Transport. My question is, between, like, where, where is the, 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 the conjunction between the Ministry of Transport and a lawyer? In that department, you will be putting there a person who has done even civil engineering, who knows so much about construction. Lastly, uh, the, 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 the the minister for, for agriculture, that person, he even doesn't have a bachelor's. We all know this information. We have the, 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 the government's website and we Google, we see this information. So, Mr. President, if you are going to give us those people who are incompetent, then we are totally doomed. You know, when we elected you as the president, normally they say, you sent a thief to catch a thief. But this time round, when we elected you, Mr. President, that you can help us now catch those people who are corrupt in this nation, you are just there laughing with them. Look at, look at uh, Oscar Sudi. He's floundering with 20 million in a bag. In a public uh, forum. 
I'm even told that there is one of the uh, cabinet minister who was caught in Dubai with 20 million cash and you, 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 you actually came through him so he wasn't uh, taken to a court somewhere or, or arrested. You know that, Mr. President, I'm Marvin Mabonga. Ngato siya mwanyambo na niku tikiri dia Kai tete mikso na subscribe Orae kena doka kiti kwa niku turn on notification bell Kitha nere wata tuyo no horo mweru kando mele ni jaru Sika kwa sikiku kinyira right here Uku kwa Moss Beast TV Asante ni sana